then, YouTube. I'm gonna do a quick little uh, night video. I'm not gonna be too terribly long. So yesterday I ordered a uh, classic quarter pounder pack. On the quarter quarter pounders, I had them add extra cheese, extra patty. Bacon, lettuce, tomatoes. It already came with pickles on it to begin with, so then on top of that, a little bit of mayonnaise. Now, I also ordered a 20 piece spicy McNuggets to go with their um, other 20 piece of original. Um. I could not bring myself to finish it because one, I was getting full, and two, they didn't include french fries, which I wasn't too worried about. Honestly, they could have ran out at McDonald's, so it is what it is. Um, it came with the two sandwiches that I ordered. It came with all the chicken nuggets, so I really wasn't complaining. Really wasn't complaining, just making a point of observation. Long story short, I got to try their, um, got to put bacon on them quarter pounders, and um, long story short, you know, freaking, I got to try their spicy chicken nuggets, which, they're decent. I will say that, McDonald's, your spicy ch chicken nuggets, your new ones are pretty good. Like, they got a little bit of heat on them, I'm not going to lie. They're pretty mild compared to what I'm used to, but... I'm used to spicier food, to be honest, but that's just me. I'm a bit of a pepper freak, you know? For, for an average palate, but for people who aren't used to spicy, those are pretty spicy. Now, why bring this up? This happened yesterday. You saw it on stream. You know the song, you can't always get what you want, but if you try sometimes, you'll get what you need. Well, that being said, sometimes in life, it's not going to go your way. But you can focus on the bad side of that, or you can focus on the silver lining. I gotta be honest with you, I woke up thinking, oh, I gotta fart, and then right as I'm about to push it out, I'm like, something told me to just go to the bathroom. Instead of trying to push it out as a fart, and then I'm glad I did, that gut feeling I had. Which sometimes your gut feeling never lies. At least mine didn't. But like I said, honestly, I did, did not care that they did not give me any fries, because honestly, they're probably out. You know, I've seen them in their drive throughs in the morning, and it's just a line of cars all the way around the building. And I'm like, That's why I say fast food is an honest living, YouTube.
Doesn't matter what fast food restaurant you're working at. It really doesn't. Fast food in general is an honest living. And I have witnessed myself personally snobbery. There are people who look down their nose at you because you work a fast food job. And then you got the assholes who have been there for a third of their life and have become managers. So now they think they own the goddamn place and they act like it too. You ever meet those people in life, YouTube, that they think they're better than everyone else because they were a manager at some random fast food restaurant, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. And it's like, hey man, good for you. You made it to the top. Congratulations. But quit acting like you're better than everyone else, you know what I'm saying? That's the truth, YouTube. Uh, this is precisely the reason reason why or there's two reasons why I have my own jobs well, my own my own way to make income one if they harass me at my job they're harassing me directly and not someone else and wasting someone else's time just to harass me and two you know you work a regular job in the real world, not some weird entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship like mine. Oh, well, it's not weird, but I'm just saying, like you work any other job that doesn't involve entrepreneurship or what have you, like you gotta get a job on a regular corporate job, you're gonna deal with some assholes. These people who think, oh, they're a mid-level boss, but they're higher up than everybody else that works there, minus their boss. So they think they're better than everyone else. They have this, you know what I'm saying? And people like that are just the absolute worst YouTube. And the thing of it is, YouTube, is you see this kind of this this kind of behavior in a lot of places you work. It's not just fast food restaurants. Those kinds of people are everywhere in the job industry. There's just people in general who've become mid-level managers and they think they're better than everyone else because they got more privileges than than their co-workers. Mid-level managers are usually the ones that they're, they're higher up than your regular employees. But they're not like the high up, high up, you know. It's, yeah. But let me tell you something. I can't just because you're a mid-level manager at some crappy clothing store or a random fast food restaurant, you know, and you want to act like you're better than everyone else because of it, <laughs> screw you, you know?
Oh, it's ridiculous, YouTube. These people who act act like that. And you're going to encounter that kind of crap everywhere you go. Which is why a lot of people would love to start their own business, but doing so is not easy, I assure you. But, at the end of those two weeks, when you get that fucking paycheck, you're like, winning. <laughs> that right there is what most people, why most people put up with the shit they work with at their job. Because of that paycheck, baby. Which brings me to the final point of this here night video. If you like the paycheck, it's worth the pay, you know, and you might come home and bitch and moan and groan about the assholes you work with, but that's as far as it goes. If you actually like what you're doing at your job, you're not going to give a shit about the assholes. That's just the truth. I mean, you want an example, look at Cobra Craft Handmade Wands. I've got so many assholes who rip on me for having my own business to venture out and make it happen for myself. Oh, does that piss my trolls off when I'm successful at it on top of it? Oh, you bet. So I put up with a lot of assholes talking shit about my business and for the most part I ignore them, you know? Until they, until they try to slander my business. Then they start trying to slander my business. And I'm like, nope. And nope. But going back to what I said earlier. Um, I like making my wands enough that I don't care what people have to say about it. As far as I'm concerned, my haters can fuck off. To quote the song Homies from ICP, if you don't like me, well you can fuck off. You notice how I've been handling the donate to talk shits lately. I don't come unglued or start getting defensive. I just laugh it off. Make fun of it. You know. Case in point. I'm like, thanks for your donate to talk shit. Oh, so juicy. Today is Thursday, so the weekend is almost upon us, YouTube. Go out there and make it happen. You can do anything you set your mind to when it comes to your job situation. Really, the world is your oyster. 
don't don't let anyone tell you you're not good enough or you can't do it because they're jealous of you for trying. You know? But thank you for watching the night video. If you like the inspirational observation, what have you, subscribe for more. Um, I'll catch you later.